even like the idea of how do we fix things? How do we solve our problems? There, that, that way of asking the question smuggles in one of the assumptions from the story of separation that kind of holds the world as this object that you can maybe fix. And that we could even possibly know what the answer to that is. Or the idea that this is a how-to question to begin with. Another way to look at it is that we are in the midst of a stupendous transformational process guided by an intelligence far beyond human understanding. And that, yes, you do, you as an individual, have a role to play in the healing of the world and the metamorphosis of the world. And in order to enact that role, you do not have to have a grand plan that makes sense of it. Because you are deployed by this intelligence to be at exactly the right place in the right time with the right set of gifts that are necessary to be part, to participate in the healing process. The, the organ of the perception of what is yours to do in participation is the heart. Sometimes the heart's guidance contradicts what the mind thinks it knows about how change is going to happen. Mm -hmm. For example, if the heart guides you to be uh, at your dying mother's bedside, and you just know with every fiber of your being that that's the most important thing you could possibly be doing right now. And your mind is like, but climate change, but Ukraine, but like there's all of these, like how, how is it gonna help the world to spend maybe days and weeks changing bedpans, you know? Uh, and, and, someone, and, and she's gonna die anyway. The mind cannot make sense of that. If you, if you were going to get together with all the other smart guys and come up with a plan to save the world, would you be sending people to spend more time in hospices? Well, maybe you would, but only if your mind were very deeply steeped in the story of interbeing, which instead of holding the world as an, as an object, understands that self and world are intimately entwined and that anything that you do on the micro level has macro effects and that anything that happens on the macro level is also happening to you. When you understand that, then heart and mind come into more alignment and, and the irrational calls of the heart no longer seem so irrational. There's another logic that validates them. And so that's really what my work is about in this transition in our stories. It's not about don't listen to your mind, only listen to your heart. It's how do we bring heart and mind into alignment and heal that division? That's one of the aspects of the age of separation between heart and mind, between spirit and matter, between self and other, between man and nature, all part of the same division that we are in the process of, of healing.